Hi everyone, this is the Gas Walkthrough for December 21st. I'm Philip Newman. Today I'm solving Future Me Hates Me by Bill Murphy. This is a slow thermo Sudoku. We have normal Sudoku rules, one to nine in each row, column, and three by three box. Additionally, we have thermometers in the grid. And normal thermometers must increase as we go from the bulb to the tip. So for example, this could be one, three, four, seven, nine, something like that. And this thermo and this thermo are entirely contained in one box and this thermo. Um, so they're going to work like normal thermometers. But slow thermometers can repeat digits. They just can't decrease. So from here to here, we're going to have to increase because they're in the same row. But this digit could be the same as this digit. As long as we don't go down, we're good. Um, and we're going to have to repeat digits on these really long slow thermometers. Um, but those are the rules. And we're going to start with that very long thermometer. Um, ignoring these cells for a minute, this is one big slow thermometer. So we're either increasing or staying the same full way. And what that means is this digit has to be bigger than this digit. It can't be the same because they're in the same column, and it's further along the thermometer. But that's true all the way down. So we know these are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And this must be bigger than 1 since it's in the same row. So it can only be 2, this can only be 3, and so on. So that's two columns done. Now. These are a little bit trickier. Um, if you're not used to pencil marking, um, it, it may be a little hard to figure out what's going on with these. Um, but let's apply kind of the same trick here. Um, this digit is smaller than this digit, which is smaller than this digit, and so on up, just like we argued with these. So effectively what we have here is six cells that increase from here to here. So obviously the lowest this can be is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And the highest it can be is 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. So our options here are everything in between. And now if we look closely at this cell, it sees 4 and 5 in the row, but it also sees 6 in the box. So the only thing this can be is 3. And if that's 3, then this has to be 2, 1. Up here, this can't be 4, so this can't be 5, so this can't be 6. This isn't as restricted yet. And now, what can this be? It has to be bigger than or the same as 1, and it has to be less than 2, because it can't be the same as 2. It must be 1, and this must be 2. All right, down here, let's look at these first. The lowest this can be now is four, because we have one, two, three, so five, six. But notice this cell sees seven and eight in the row and nine in the box, so it can't be any higher than six either. It must be six. And that means these are gonna be seven, eight, nine. And now we can make a lot of progress here. This has to be less than four, and it sees one and two, so it's three. Now this has to be less than or equal to 4 and less than 5, or sorry, greater than or equal to 4 and less than 5. And same for this, this has to be 5. Up here, this can be equal to or bigger than 3, but it has to be less than 7, and we have 3, 4, 5 here, so this is 6. This has to be greater than or equal to 7, so it's 7, 8, and then this must be 9. And so that was Quite a bit trickier than these columns, um, but that's that's the way through it. Uh, once we have that, this puzzle is relatively straightforward. Um, our remaining thermos are contained entirely in boxes, and in fact, this one is resolved. So we only have three digits left. They must go in that order. Um, these have some options, so let's figure out what those are. We have one, two, three in the box. So this could be four or five, five or six, six or seven, seven or eight, eight or nine. And the seven here 
and the 7 here means neither of these can be 7. So that's going to resolve the whole thermo. This is 6, 5, 4, and our 7 must go here. We could have also seen that by just looking at the 7s and realizing 7 can never go in the bulb because this thermo is too long, so it must go here. Down here, we have 3, 4, 5, so we're going to skip those. We have 1, 2, 2, 6, 6, 7, 7, 8, 8, 9, but there's a 9 here and a 9 here, so 9 has to go there, 8, 7, 6, 2, 1. That's all the thermos, so now we just need to figure out the remaining digits. These are 1, 5, 6, and there are 6s in these, so this is our 6, there's a 5 here. These are 2, 3, and 7. The 2 has to go here. The 3 goes there, 7 there. These are 2 and 4, with a 4 up at the top. These are 1 and 3, not resolved. And these are 5 and 6, they are resolved. Up here we have 3 and 5, not resolved. We have 4 and 9. And we have 1, 2. All right. Let's look across this way. Um, these are 1, 6, 7, 8. Not 7, 8 there, um, and not 6. So that is our 1. That's going to result 3, 1. And then this can't be 6, and this can't be 6. So this is 6, and then the 8 here places 7 and 8. So here we are left with 2 and 9. We can do those. 3 and 7, we can do those. These are 5 and 8. These are 3 and 4. And finally, 3 and 5. And that's the solution. So a little bit tricky here. Um, you might have had to spend some time thinking through that. Um, but otherwise, hopefully pretty straightforward. Let us know how you did in the comments, and I will see you next time.